When it comes to engine size, the days of bigger is better are long gone. Today, the powertrain of choice features less displacement and increasingly only four cylinders. For this, we have the turbocharger to thank. Turbochargers enable automakers to get more power and torque from smaller capacity engines, while boosting gas mileage and reducing emissions. And it's not just class seven, eight trucks that use this technology. It works great for light duty vehicles as well. Turbochargers improve combustion efficiency by using exhaust gas energy to pre-compress the intake air and supply a greater air mass to the engine. Most turbocharged engines utilize an intercooler for its ability to cool the incoming air charge before it's ingested into the engine. In theory, using exhaust gas to spin the turbine that's connected to the compressor is a very effective way to increase the density of the air. But in doing so, heat also builds up and takes away some of the efficiency. And that's where the intercooler comes in. The intercooler lowers the temperature of the air before it enters the cylinder. The intercooler is also known as a charge air cooler because it improves volumetric efficiency by increasing intake air charge density through constant volume cooling. Intercoolers accomplish this in two different ways, depending on the design. Air-to-air -air intercoolers use a series of tubes and fins to cool the compressed air. Due to the simplicity of the design, you're more likely to encounter air-to-air -air intercoolers than air-to-water intercoolers. Air-to-water intercoolers use a water or water solvent mixture to lower the temperature of the hot air. While air-to-water intercoolers are able to pull more heat out of the charge air, they can be difficult to fit in a tight application and are heavy because they need a water reservoir to hold the water in the system. So what can go wrong with intercoolers? Well, intercoolers can be susceptible to damage from road debris. On the inside, the intercooler can be stressed or even rupture if there are damaged or blocked hoses in the system. Improper installation is another reason intercoolers can fail prematurely. Finally, intercoolers tend to sit right up close to the front bumper, so a minor fender bender could damage the unit. Turbocharger components can be hard to find. When it comes to intercoolers, there are some quality replacement options available in the aftermarket. CSF, a well-known brand that's been in business in the United States for more than 40 years, has a full line of aftermarket intercoolers with coverage ranging from Audi to Volvo. CSF carries several different styles of intercooler ranging from plastic aluminum to all aluminum with standard tube and fin cores as well as heavy duty bar and plate cores. CSF supplies replacement intercoolers for a number of popular domestic trucks including the 2008 through 2010 Ford Super Duty, 2013 through 2018 Ram 2500 and 3500, and 2011 through 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD and 3500 HD. And all CSF intercoolers are built to OE specifications and are designed for a drop-in fit. The percentage of light duty vehicles equipped with turbochargers continues to grow and the trend shows no signs of slowing down. Today, over 33% of new vehicles are turbocharged. As millions of turbocharged vehicles hit the sweet spot for turbo system failures, there should be plenty of sales opportunities for related components such as intercoolers. I'm Josh Cable, thanks for watching.